Subha. I am a graduate of KMC Mangalore Manipal University and I graduated in the year 2021. Uh, the KMC Mangalore uh, College has two campuses. One is in uh, Vijay, which is the first year campus. Um, that is where all the first year students go uh, initially until they finish the first MBBS professional exam. Following that, uh, you start college uh, proper, which is like second, third and fourth year. Uh, with clinics and everything uh, in the main campus which is on Lighthouse Hill Road. Um, the hospitals uh, affiliated to uh, my college are uh, Kasturba Medical College Hospital uh, in uh, Ambedkar Circle and Attavar and also the Garment Venlock Hospital which is a hospital for um, general medicine, general surgery, uh, pediatrics and uh, ENT and associated subjects. There is a separate hospital for um, obstetrics and gynecology called Lady Gosh uh, Garment Lady Goshen Hospital, which is um, also within uh, five to ten minutes from the main campus. Okay, so there are two separate campuses. Uh, uh, one is in uh, Bijay and the other one is in Lighthouse Hill Road. Uh, the first year students uh, go to Bijay. There is a separate hostel facility associated with the college and a library as well. So once you're done giving the first year professional exam and passing first year, you will be shifted to the main campus, which is in Lighthouse Hill Road, where you will do second, third and fourth year of uh, medical college. Uh, firstly, they are all very competent in their respective fields. Um, they are extremely knowledgeable and uh, the staff uh, in my college are extremely competent in their fields and they are very knowledgeable with regard to their subjects and continuously updated. Um, it is um, an honor to be taught by some of uh, the very popular uh, physicians in India um, who have many uh, books under their um, purview like uh, Dr. Archit Bolur and Dr. Shiram Bhatt. Apart from that, um, all the other uh, department professors and associate professors are also extremely great. Um, they are all so professional in their field that you also learn how to be a good doctor apart from just their respective subjects. Lab, the labs and uh, practical exposure um, uh, is quite honestly the best in the Dakshin Karnataka district which is why we get a huge case, case load of patients. Um, there is nothing to complain in that regard. Uh, we were, we were, the exposure to clinics and uh, exposure to academics was given equal importance in KMC Mangalore starting from first year all the way till final year and even in internship we would have a constant medical, uh, continued medical education we, were, we, were a, we could take part in a continued medical education as well as uh, be a part of the curriculum that is uh, prescribed by MCC uh, there are uh, three hospitals where you can do your internship in uh, KMC Mangalore. Uh, the first one is Garment Venlock Hospital, which is a which is the garment hospital district hospital in Dakshin Kannada. So you get a, a great number of patients. Um, unfortunately, for my batch, we had um, a co the COVID pandemic, so um, things were a little sluggish. But uh, otherwise. There is excellent exposure for uh, people to discover uh, what they want to take up in the future. The second hospital is uh, Garment Lady Goshen Hospital, which is the obstetrics hospital, which um, has a record-breaking number of deliveries done on a monthly basis. So that there's an ex excellent exposure to obstetrics and gynecology as well. Um, we also have a, pub, a private hospital, which is uh, KMC Hospital Mangalore uh, Attavar and uh, Ambedkar Circle. So. Um, they are better equipped and uh, they are also uh, in a different way nurture your interests. Uh, since there are three hospitals under KMC Mangalore, there is an adequate patient load. Um, there is adequate number of cases in each uh, department and also uh, an infinite amount of uh, potential to treat and learn from them. Definitely would recommend KMC Mangalore to my juniors, not just for the academics but also the holistic experience. They are all very nurturing, warm, welcoming people and uh, there is plenty of scope for extracurriculars as well. So um, I would definitely say make the most of your UG days there. Uh, there are uh, fests that happen on a regular basis all over the country which um, are 
college sense of uh, people to participate in uh, apart from that we also have an intra collegiate uh, fest which happens over a period of one month where there are a lot of activities that uh, people can take part in be it sports or uh, cultural or even um, quizzes and things like that uh, aside from that um, conferences that happen not just within india but also internationally are given equal importance in our college so uh, there's a lot of exposure in that regard uh, everything that i have learned um, about medicine uh, about being a good doctor and uh, overall about being um, a decent human being i have learned from my professor so i'm forever indebted to them uh, my decision to take up uh, orthopedics after that is also because of the department my professors who have constantly uh, ensured that uh, we are con we we nurture our interests as well as you know take part in academics uh, please like share and subscribe to medical mentor